Hello and welcome to today's episode of NYSC Half Hour. I am Inkem Okorgo. The legal unit of the NYSC is an autonomous unit under the office of the Director General. It is the legal advisor, solicitor and advocate of the National Youth Service Corps. Today, we will be exploring the legal unit of the NYSC scheme as well as the success of an ex corps member. This is a compelling story on how service to humanity can uplift those at the fringes of society. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. The National Youth Service Corps, a call to service, a call to nationhood. Nigerian youths, stand up and embrace this clarion call. Wherever you are posted, accept it. Embrace it. Do not harbor any fears because your security is assured. Develop common ties with members of your host communities. You would discover that North, South, East and West, we are all brothers with common ties and a shared destiny as one nation. Do not lobby for preferential posting for it is unpatriotic and illegal. Report at once to the orientation camp as soon as you are posted and contribute your quarter to the overall development of our great nation, Nigeria. The National Youth Service Corps, building future leaders. The vision of the legal unit is to promote fairness, equity and industrial harmony through laws and regulation in administration of justice in the scheme. Some of our major activities is uh, giving a legal advice to management and the, especially the, the director general and the state, uh, state secretariat. We're also involved in a litigation. We're also involved in a contract agreement and we are also involved in administrative duties and uh, we are also involved in the core legal aid and uh, any other function given to us and the, also involved in the in the in the administration of the secretariat of the board of the governing board of the national Youth service corps the legal unit is at the forefront of the director general's campaign against illegal mobilization failure to report for service forgery of nysc discharge certificates an abscondment of seven core members. The first one is under section 31, which is any 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 person who fails to report for service in the service corps in the manner directed by the directorate, or as the case may be, prescribed pursuant to the provision of this act, or the person refuses to make himself available for service in the service corps continuously for a period or a period specified on in subsection two of this section is guilty of an offense and liable on conviction to a fine of two thousand naira or to imprisonment for a term of 12 months, or to such fine and imprisonment. Unqualified prospective core members who presented questionable certificates for registration for the service year have equally been apprehended and prosecuted. Some of them are being prosecuted by the police. They have been taken to various courts. I remember there were some in Kebi State which uh, were sent to the court there in Kebi. They were they appeared before the court. Some pleaded guilty. Some they decided to to go to go through the the whole process of uh, uh, of uh, legal proceedings. And some have been some have been found culpable, and they, they were jailed. Some were given a, a, some prison sentence, and some were given option of fine. So we have been pursuing all these cases all over the country. The scheme under the leadership of the Director General. Brigadier General Shwaibu Ibrahim, in line with his mission to sanitize the mobilization process, has embarked on a massive sensitization exercise with critical stakeholders, especially core producing institutions and the general public, to enlighten them on their duties and responsibilities as enshrined in the NYSC Act. Let me also let you draw your attention still to the NYC Act, because that is the constitution of the scheme, just like as we have the 1999 constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Under subsection three of that act, it says any person who fails to comply with, or who contravenes, or who causes or aids, or abets another to contravene any provision of this act, 
not being a provision relating to the column of members of service corps is guilty of an offence and liable on conviction to a fine of 5,000 or imprisonment for a term of three years or to both such fine and imprisonment. We have tried as much as possible to let them know, to give them the knowledge of this act and also let them know the operations of the NYC. That was why we all we give them this uh, NYC act. And I'm sure most of them must have, must have read it and know what it is all about. And we normally organize some workshops annually where we invite NTA, invite AIT and some other radio, st uh, radio stations and uh, other, 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 other media houses. We normally invite them to come and uh, we, we, we sit together, they look at what we do, then they now send it to members of the public to now know the members of the public will now know this is what NYC is doing. In that aspect, we have been trying to sensitize members of the public, even through the core members. The director of the legal unit admonished the general public, especially youth, to be good and responsible citizens and remember that any violation of the NYSC Act will lead to prosecution and possible conviction. Well, the only advice I will have for parents and stakeholders in respect of uh, coming into the scheme through an illegal way is that they should try as much as possible to follow the laid down rules in respect of mobilization of uh, core members from schools. And the student affairs officer should try as much as possible to make sure that they do not put in names that are not supposed to be there. And uh, even parents should also advise their wards to make sure that they do things in order that their children should not be on the first lane, that patience pays a lot. The Director General and Management of the National Youth Service Corps wish to remind the general public of the provisions of the NYSC Act, which states in Section 13, Subsection 1, that any person who fails to report for service in the Service Corps in the manner directed by the directorate or as the case may be, prescribed pursuance to the provisions of this act or who refuses to make himself available for service for a period specified in subsection 2 is guilty of an offense and liable on conviction to a fine or to imprisonment to a term of 12 months or both fine and imprisonment. Subsection 2 states that any person who is not eligible to participate in the service year so participates or attempts to participate is guilty of an offence or having served in a service year and has been duly issued with a certificate of national service or certificate of exemption, as the case may be, is guilty of an offence and is liable upon conviction to a fine or imprisonment to a term of two years or both fine and imprisonment. All stakeholders, including core producing institutions, prospective core members and guardians, should be guided in their conduct and desist from criminal practices in relation to the scheme. Thank you. On the news today, Hall 7 project to build Skill Center as it renews partnership with NYSC. The partnership between the National Youth Service Corps and Hall 7 Project, a private estate developer company, has been rejected to yield greater results. Hall 7 has pledged to furnish and donate an ultra-modern skill acquisition center for the training of core members and other youth. Core members distributes hand sanitizers and face masks to Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers. As part of the National Youth Service Corps Lagos State strategies in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, the state coordinator, Mr. Eddie Megwa, led members of the scheme to a sensitization program to the National Union of Road Transport Workers Secretariat in Ojota Motor Parks. NYSC appointed the Technical Working Group on Mambila Power Project. The Senate Committee on Local Content has inaugurated the Technical Working Group to secure local content workforce for the Mambila Hydroelectric Power Project with the National Youth Service Corps among stakeholders appointed on the committee. In Ondo State, 
co-member Ogundare Babatunde Gabriel, a legal practitioner, dedicated himself during his service year back in 2010 to provide pro bono services to inmates who were unable to afford legal representation. During his many visits to the Olokuta prison, now Olokuta Correctional Center, he noticed that the inmates did not have access to quality healthcare services. So, he took it upon himself to construct a healthcare center for the inmates. Watch this. Ogundare Babatunde Gabriel surprised the people of Olokuta community when he announced his intention to build a multi-purpose center for the inmates of the Olokuta prison, Akure. made me even though I might have contributed my quota but this scheme actually made me and a whole lot of other colleagues and friends that I know because I won the state award as well I was given prize I was given a lot of recommendation I was posted to Ondo State as a core member and um, after that I was seconded to um, a law firm in Ondo State. Uh, during my period and uh, during my practice, I usually visit Nigerian prison service then and other less privileged you know, places. I visit schools, I check their challenges, I try to lecture them, I try to encourage them on the need for them to be studious and the importance of education in life. But there is this uh, particular mission which has been my goal and uh, which has been my, my, my passion and that is helping the, the less privileged. I deeply feel that the actual place where I feel I can touch life is the prisons. Then I usually go to prisons to help the indigent inmates, those who cannot afford the payment and you know, who cannot afford a legal practitioner to stand for them. So at that time, I was trying to get bail. I, I go for their bail application. I try to stand in for them during their challenges. Those who are down health-wise, I take them to hospital. So at this point in time, I discovered that many of them were down health-wise. And I asked from the authority that what can I do to assist these people the more? so that they can also have access to better health care. So they showed me their very small little room called their health center. I was moved to tears because looking at the population in that facility and looking at that inhumane environment they are, so to say, and the health care facility that is available to them, I discover it is not enough for them. I took it upon myself. I got the necessary approvals from the service and from National Youth Service, telling them my intention to put up a medical clinic for them so that they can have a place for them, a place whereby they will be able to cater for their health challenges. So I got the approval from the National Youth Service Corps and Nigerian Prison Service, now Nigerian Correctional Service. I was permitted to take up a particular project and the project is citing a mini model medical clinic for the inmates. I 
I went to NGOs, religious bodies, successful individuals. I showed them my proposal and my reasons for doing this project. Many of them started giving me materials, blocks, cement. They were making donations, sand, and most especially I was able to get um, cheap labor from the inmates. Immediately they discovered that the project is for them. We have masons, carpenters, bricklayers, and you know, all other you know, artisans in the uh, prison service then. I got it from there, and they were able to render, you know, free service. And to God be the glory, I was able to complete the project from foundation to a model medical clinic. The state government saw the project, they were enthused with the project, and the project was commissioned. And at the point of commissioning, we have all necessary people in place, the um, state directors, the officials of the National Youth Service Corps, the Nigerian Correctional Service now, formerly Nigerian Prison Service, and they jointly look at the purpose of the project. They, it was not their intention to change it from clinic, but they felt that it would be much more useful if the court is brought to them so that they can expedite their cases quickly. This necessitated the reason why the clinic was changed to an high court. After my youth service, it was my intention to travel out for a greener pasture, especially for my masters. I got admission already. It was that same month, I could remember vividly, December 14, 2010 that the officials from the Nigerian Prison Service, now Nigerian Correctional Service, and the Honorable Minister of Interior came to Ondo State on a tour. They now looked at the project being embarked on by core members. This project was singled out and I was invited to come to uh, the, the particular site. When I got there, they checked the project, they asked me why and what motivated me in doing this? And I explained all what I just said to them. The minister was moved to tears. He said, let me quote him verbally. He said, you have um, actually made us proud. And you have actually made this generation proud. For you to have embarked on this project and taking a look at your background, you didn't come from a rich home because they conducted their investigation. They wanted to know if actually I came from a rich background. But they discovered that I came from a very modest background. And for me achieving this project, without any monetary gains or value, I deserve to be compensated. I just got a, a, a call from them someday. They asked me to take any job that I want or mention any job that I want and that it will be given to me. I had to consult my parents. I told them that I have a blanket check and, I, and, and I'm asked to pick a particular job. But my parents advised me to go back to that particular place. They said, go back to that prison service and take the job. That there must be a reason for it. I shouldn't look at money. I should not look at probably um, other better parastatals. I should go back to that place. It was a very tough decision. But I took the decision and I was actually given the, employment, the automatic employment. I never submitted my CV. I never submitted anything. And they gave me the job. And through the grace of God, I, I am rising in that job. Now I am now the, um, the public relations officer for the state. I'm also the legal officer for the state. And by rank, I'm a superintendent. Kudos to Federal Republic of Nigeria. Kudos to Niger um, National Youth Service Corps. And all appreciation and glory to God. The National Youth Service Corps, a call to service, a call to nationhood. Nigerian youths, stand up and embrace this clarion call. Wherever you are posted, accept it, embrace it. Do not harbor any fears. 
because your security is assured. Develop common ties with members of your host communities. You would discover that North, South, East and West, we are all brothers with common ties and a shared destiny as one nation. Do not lobby for preferential posting for it is unpatriotic and illegal. Report at once to the orientation camp as soon as you are posted and contribute your quarter to the overall development of our great nation, Nigeria. The National Youth Service Corps, building future leaders. One act of kindness has changed his life. But the real victory is in the many lives positively impacted. Truly service to humanity, which is exactly what the National Youth Service Corps stands for. You are enough to make a difference. If you are a Corps member serving anywhere across the country, there's always a need to be met. Find it and make it happen. As a community member, if core members write to you or solicit your support for community development projects, please offer them your support. That's how far we can go on today's episode of NYSC Half Hour. Remember, you can write to us on the online handles displayed right now on your screen, and we will write back. Remember, the safety of core members in our communities is the responsibility of you and I. I am Inkem Okwogo. Stay safe. The Director General and Management of the National Youth Service Corps wish to remind the general public of the provisions of the NYSC Act, which states in Section 13, Subsection 1, that any person who fails to report for service in the Service Corps in the manner directed by the Directorate, or as the case may be, prescribed, pursuant to the provisions of this Act, or who refuses to make himself available for service for a period specified in subsection 2 is guilty of an offence and liable on conviction to a fine or to imprisonment to a term of 12 months or both fine and imprisonment. Subsection 2 states that any person who is not eligible to participate in the service year so participates or attempts to participate is guilty of an offence or haven't served in a service year and has been duly issued with a certificate of national service or certificate of exemption, as the case may be, is guilty of an offence and is liable upon conviction to a fine or imprisonment to a term of two years or both fine and imprisonment. All stakeholders, including core producing institutions, prospective core members and guardians, should be guided in their conduct and desist from criminal practices in relation to the scheme. Thank you.